Hi folks, Chef Nick coming to you from the Skull Creek Boathouse, Hilton Head, South Carolina, bringing you another nuts and bolts recipe. Today we're going to cook up some local cobia. We love to catch them and we love to eat them even more. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Today I'm going to prepare local cobia on the grill with a roasted red pepper and caper vinaigrette. The thing that makes this recipe really special is this beautiful roast uh, red pepper that we're going to take and turn into the ugly duckling and then turn it on this beautiful swan as roasted red pepper strips, which is going to set the recipe off and make that cobia even better. What you're going to do is go to market, find a nice straight sided red pepper like this. You're going to get your grill nice and hot and then you're going to take the red pepper, put it on the grill and char it on all sides. It's going to take about 15-20 minutes, but what you're going to get is this beautiful charred pepper that the skin's going to come off easily and it's going to be beautiful and delicious. The 15-20 minutes you spend on this roasted red pepper right now is going to pay huge dividends on the back end of this. This recipe is going to zip just because of that roasted red pepper. I'm just going to cut it in half, take out the seeds, and take a knife blade and scrape off that charred skin. It's a little messy, but not too bad. It's well worth the effort. What I don't want you to do is stick it under running water and wash it because that takes away the flavor. A little bit of charring on there is not going to hurt a thing. It just gives a little bit of a rustic appeal and shows that you did the effort of fire roasting these peppers. We'll just quickly julienne this pepper up and add it to our recipe. All right, this is going to be a simple grilled dish, okay? We're going to just take the cobia, which is beautiful and fresh, add a little salt, cracked pepper, and grill it. What I'm going to do, one of the secrets I use to keep it from sticking to the grill and giving it great grill marks is I use a high-quality mayonnaise before I put it on the grill. Season it up with your salt. If you're outside, make sure you play the wind and pepper. And then, I'm just going to put it on the grill and let it start cooking. And once we put it on the grill, we're going to add a little more mayonnaise to the back side of this fish. And then we're going to season it up with salt and pepper again. So we have nice, even flavor throughout. This is about an inch thick piece of cobia. We're going to give it about four minutes aside, and it'll be done perfectly. It's a beautiful, mild fish, and this roasted red pepper caper vinaigrette is going to accent it nicely. If you don't have kobe in your area, feel free to use mahi-mahi, wahoo, snapper, whatever fish is available, this is going to work great with it. For the roasted red pepper and caper vinaigrette, you're going to need capers, fresh minced garlic, oregano, extra virgin olive oil, fresh squeezed lemon juice, kosher salt, and the fire roasted red pepper strips. You can mix this up early in the daytime, set it in the refrigerator, Bring it out about an hour before you're going to use it. The flavor is only going to get better the longer it sits. And then you're going to have this great, light, fresh vinaigrette for your cobia. To make your vinaigrette, you're going to take your capers, your fresh garlic, your oregano, your extra virgin olive oil, your fresh squeezed lemon juice, a little kosher salt, some fresh cracked pepper, and then lastly, you're going to put those fire roasted red peppers in there. And then we just simply mix this up. And if you want to, you can do this early in the day and put it in the refrigerator. But right now it looks like our Kobe is done, so I'm going to take it off the grill. It's time to put that wonderful vinaigrette on it. Uh, you can put as much or as little as you like. Make sure everybody gets some of the capers and plenty of those roasted red peppers. And a little of that lemon and olive oil. And you're going to have a wonderful, light, summertime Kobe dish. All right, here's our fresh Hilton Head Kobe with the roasted red pepper vinaigrette. It's one of my favorites. I hope it'll be one of yours.